For me, I think that um, if I can isolate three values um, which are related. Firstly, I think one function of literary criticism and literary scholarship is to help literature realize itself, to oxygenate it and to enhance the way it communicates with its readers. And related to that, I think it, it makes the culture more self-aware, more conscious of it through literature as a particular form. And finally, um, I think that it, um, it, there's a circularity to the question, the value of literary criticism insofar as it's in literary criticism as one branch of the humanities, but I think this also pertains to other humanities subject where value itself emerges. So the value of literary criticism is a sort of a tautology. Uh, what values are, how, we, how, how they come about, and in principle how we recognize them. We think of value as a question of justification or measurement, but it's also a question of recognition. And I think literature, through its affective and identificatory modes and literary criticism, helps us to recognize that value. Well, I, I think that a generation ago, the difference between literature and politics um, was much more evident than now. I think when I was a student, um, the, 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 the literary aspects of literature and the political aspects were sometimes seen as uh, opposition. And indeed, uh, the literary uh, as a category was seen as something that needed to be demystified and, and uh, stripped bare to reveal politics and ideology. I think one of the things that, that this book um, indicates, though it's a wider phenomenon, is a, a much greater intimacy between literature and the political and ethical. ethical. Um, so that lit one of the functions of literature, one of the literary values, is opening us up as readers to a sense of alterity and otherness and newness that is itself implicitly political. So I think the literary, the political and the ethical and the psychological often combine. I think that's one of the features that comes out uh, of the book and the essays taken as a whole. Um, I think that uh, we will see more uh, entente between uh, the humanities as a whole and the sciences. Um, I think a good outcome of that would be if some of the discrete skills of literary studies, the critical skills, um, the, the cultural awareness, um, the sense of narrative, the sense of shape is brought to other disciplines, including the sciences or indeed the uh, vocational disciplines. Um, I think a bad outcome would be if literature was simply turned into a quantificatory, scientific, useful discipline. I think literature, um, we are in certainly uncertain and changing times for uh, literary studies in the humanities and that, that those challenges and uh, the increasing calls on literary studies to justify itself, to prove what good it does, is one of the impetuses behind uh, the collection I've edited. Um, I think that we will need and increasingly need to articulate what it is we do to a wider audience. I don't think that's a threat. I think it's an opportunity. I think it will oxygenate the, dis the, the discipline to do so. Um, but I think we also need to um, recognize the discrete uh, qualities of critical thought, uh, of engaging in a, in a higher level institution uh, with uh, some of the great texts of our civilization. Um, and all that can emerge uh, from that. So I think we will also see Certainly one thing that I think uh, I would predict is a transnational turn in literary studies and a global turn. I think the national literatures and even the word English as a subject, I think we'll see that changing into uh, a more recognition of the transnational and global ideas of literary, of, of literary studies. Were literatures of a growing um, area in the field of literary studies which I see growing and enhancing.